we are going to start with leguminosae family. Leguminosae family is the second largest family and we have to talk about three subfamilies which are included under this. So, those subfamilies are Mimosae, then Cizalpini, and Fabaceae. These first two subfamilies, normally whenever we talk about this, we refer to it as family, family mimosi, but it is not actually the family, it is subfamily. So, mimosi and cizalpini, we have to discuss in short and fabaceae in detail. So, let us first talk about mimosi and here we will take the examples first. So, here the example is mimosa pudica. That is touch me not plant which shows thigmo nasty. Thigmo nastic movement that is response to touch where all the leaflets they close that is thigmo nastic movement. So one example is this one. And the second example is Acacia catechu. This is tannin which is obtained. Catechu is known as, uh, the catechu is actually the tannin which is obtained from the plant and it is used to apply on beetle leaves like if that is pan and in Hindi it is known as katha. So that is what is catechu. We will straight away start with what kind of flower and inflorescence is there. So inflorescence in this case can be Capitulum. Most commonly, capitulum that is head inflorescence is the most common inflorescence here. Flower is actinomorphic, complete, bisexual, and hypogynous. So, these are the words which would explain how the flower is. Then let us come to the whorls. Outermost whorl is calyx. The number of sepals is 4 to 5, either 4 or 5 sepals. And they are polysepalous. That means free and show velvet astivation. And the same thing is seen in case of corolla. Four or five petals, polypetalous and velvet estivation. So in sepals and petals, pretty much everything is same. And then let us come to androsium, that is the male reproductive world. So this is inflorescence, flower, calyx, corolla. And now we are talking about Androsium. There are stamen, the number is normally uh, infinite or you can say many, many stamen are there. So, we normally write infinite and free. That means the condition is polyandrous. Gynosium, monocarpillary, that is single carpal is there. The ovary is superior because we have written the, uh, the flower is hypogynous and the placentation is marginal because in leguminosae family there are certain characteristic features which are found in all subfamilies. That is this marginal placentation. And in the roots, 
there are nodules where symbiotic bacteria like rhizobium are found. So, nodulated roots. The, these are some important characteristic features of leguminacy. And that is why when we talk of nodulated roots, we say these symbiotic bacteria like rhizobium, they are found in symbiotic association with the roots of leguminous plants. So, we are basically talking about the family. So, all the subfamily get, in, get included in it. Now, from this information, we can write down the formula. So, floral formula of this family, the flower is actinomorphic. This is the symbol for actinomorphic. It is bisexual. That means both male and female reproductive walls are there. And now, let us come to the walls from outside in. So, calyx, four or five sepals. Then corolla, petals, four or five petals. Androsium, number varies from 10 to infinite. Normally, it is large number, but with 10 number is also reported. So, 10 to infinite. G, that is gynosium is one, monocarpillary. And superior ovary, so we put the line just beneath G. This is the floral formula. Now, when we have to draw the diagram, we have to also remember the astivation. So, here there are four sepals. We will start with the outermost wall. Four sepals and astivation is velvet. So, these sepals, four sepals, we can draw five also, but we are drawing four here. So, four sepals, velvet estivation and they are free. Velvet estivation is end to end but not few. So, we have shown the space here. The next wall inner to it is of the petals. We will draw four petals only. So, this is one petal. Again, here the estivation is velvet and they are free. So, these are the four petals. Again, no overlapping of the margins. That is velvet astivation. And we have uh, left space. That means they are free. And now coming to androsium. There are many stamen. So, we will draw many anthers here. But before that, we will draw the section of the ovary with marginal placentation. So, this is the ovary. Here is the marginal placenta and the ovule which is now going to change into the seed. And now this remaining space, we are going to fill this space with all the anthers. So, anthers are typical diathetes and they are numerous. So, we can simply draw them filling this entire space. These are all anthers that we are drawing here, stamen. And we are not joining them with anything. That means they are free and many. So, we fill this space completely. And here is going to be the mother axis. So, this is the floral formula and the floral diagram of Mimosi family. Cisalpine is our next subfamily. Again, we will write down the examples first. Cisalpinia, commonly it is known as Gulmohar. This is uh, one example. The second is Tamerindus. That is Tamerind. And examples are uh, important so that it gives us an idea what kind of a plant it is. Again, we will start with inflorescence. Inflorescence is mostly raceme or compound raceme. 
you must have seen the gulmor flowers so they are either raceme or compound raceme flower now let us come to the description of the flower the flower is zygomorphic zygomorphic it is complete bisexual and hypogynous again the words are self explanatory coming to calyx the outermost wall there are five sepals polysepalous that means they are free and aestivation is imbricate imbricate aestivation and same thing is seen in case of the petals also so the next wall this is inflorescence flower calyx and now we are talking of corolla so five petals polypetalous and same imbricate aestivation male reproductive wall that is androecium there are 10 stamen and they are polyandrous that means free gynoecium monocarpillary single carpel ovary is superior superior ovary and marginal placentation now based on this information we will write down the formula first so floral formula we will start with symmetry so it is zygomorphic bisexual that is male female both the reproductive walls are present and then we will start writing pro, ab, about the words calyx five and they're free so we don't have to put bracket around five corolla petals are five and they are free androecium they are ten and free gynoecium is one and the ovary is superior so very simple floral formula now the diagram part in the diagram outermost wall first that is the calyx now we here we have to show imbricate aestivation in imbricate aestivation one petal or sepal is going to be completely out one is going to be completely in and the remaining three are going to be in and out so let us say this one which we are drawing is the completely out that means it's both the margins are going to be out overlapping something else but they do not get overlapped then let us make one sepal which is say completely in so it's both the margins should be in now the remaining three we will make in and out so this is out this one is out so this has to be in so now if you look at it this is the completely out both the margins are exposed this is completely in both the margins are covered this one one margin out in out in out and in this is imbricate aestivation of sepals now the same aestivation we have to draw in case of petals also so let us make the next wall and here also we will be drawing petals in the same manner now let us take this petal which is completely out and this one completely in and the others are going to be in and out so 
So here, this one has both the margins out, this one has both in and the remaining out in, out in, out and in. So here also the same astivation, imbricate astivation. We will first draw the section of the ovary so that we get the space to draw the stamen. Ovary is marginal placentation, unilocular with that ovule which is going to change into seed later on. Stamen are 10. Here we have written the number of stamen as 10. So we can draw it is in two rings, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is one stamen ring, 5 here and 5 in the inner ring. Actually the arrangement is not fixed and that is why we don't write 5 plus 5, we write 10. This is only so that we see all 10 and we get enough space to arrange them. And obviously we here we have to draw the mother axis. So this is also very simple uh, diagram. Both sepals petals have same astivation. Nothing fused with anything. So it is a very clean, simple kind of uh, diagram and formula. So this is our second subfamily that is Zalpini of the family Leguminaceae.